Hi, thanks very much for clicking on the video link. My name is Natalie Armstrong Motan. Welcome to another in the series of idle chats for the American Bar Association's Section of Dispute Resolution. And I get to talk to a colleague on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean from Orlando, Florida. Please say hello, Natalie. Hi. Hi. So now I did not mispronounce Natalie's name. She is Natalie. I am Natalie. Very similar but also different. And Natalie and I are going to have an idle chat. Natalie, I know that you had an opportunity to see some of the other videos. So I know that you understand we're going to shuffle the cards and then chat about not very much of anything in particular. All right, here we go, ma'am. Okay. Let's see, first question. I just my glasses. That's terrible. <laughs> Natalie, if there were an adult only version of a, the children's ice cream truck that cruises around the neighborhood after hours and weekends, what would that truck be serving to us and what kind of music would be playing? Wine and salsa music. <laughs> That's a street party, my friend. <laughs> Wine and salsa music. I'm in. Take my money. Um, Natalie, if you could live one month completely off the grid, would you be considering that to be a vacation or just a nightmare? Wow, that's hard. Completely off the grid. For a month. No, I think that would be a nightmare for me. I need social interaction. <laughs> yeah, so you, just because you're off the grid doesn't mean you can't take friends. Oh, well, that's true. If I can take my friends, then yes, it, that would be a vacation. But if I'm like off the grid alone, that would be a nightmare. Yeah, that would be too isolating. You're absolutely right. Yeah, take your family, take your friends, turn off the phones. That's a holiday. Oh, then yes, absolutely. That is a holiday. All right, perfect. Natalie, what kind of nap is most satisfying? I don't know that I call it a nap. I, I'm in bed for two hours in the afternoon. That is the most satisfying. Could not agree more. I'm on team nap. Yep. All right. Um, Natalie, what habit do you have now that you wish you had started far earlier in your life? That's an interesting question because I don't know. Um, what habit do I have now? I try to tell people that I love them and more often than I did before. I think I've always been kind of affectionate with my family, but I try to remind myself that it's important to tell people you love them if you do. <laughs> what a lovely habit. I like that answer very much. I like that very much. All right. This uh, question is not nearly as deep. Uh oh. <laughs> mayonnaise or Miracle Whip? There's a difference? No. <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. I'm not, I'm not huge into mayo, but real mayonnaise, yes. Mayonnaise, not the salad dressing, the Miracle Whip. All right, fair enough. Uh, Natalie, let's say that there's an epic feast being held in your honor. Mm -hmm. What would we be eating? What's spread out over the table at this feast? Okay, so everybody in my family will probably disown me because it's not Puerto Rican food. It would have to be an Italian feast. Pasta, the hams and the cheeses, the wine, the whole, that would be my feast, yeah. Fair enough, and we'll keep that just between you and I. We won't tell your family at all. <laughs> just between us. Yeah, it's not that I don't love, you know, the pork and the and the rice and all of that. But if it was a feast in my honor, yeah, that's the way I'm going. Pasta. Alla Italiano. Good choice. Um, Natalie, what is your favorite app on your smartphone? Um, what do I use? Uh, <laughs> I... 
probably this is going to show my um the terrible side of me i probably facebook or twitter one of those social apps because i do check them <laughs> that's not terrible that's that's how we keep uh that's how we keep in contact with people all right let's see if money and practicality are no problem whatsoever what would be the most interesting way to get around town i don't know if it if it's interesting but it would certainly lift a lot of my stress i would want a chauffeur in whatever i mean preferably if we could just go over traffic as opposed to in traffic but a chauffeur whatever it is where i don't have to drive just as long as you're not at the wheel yep <laughs> that's it i'm waiting for elon musk to make my dream a reality someday because I want, I want to not have to drive. You know what? That is a good thing to think about. I, I like that dream. All right, Natalie, I will ask you the same question that I ask everyone is the last question in an idle chat. And that is, tell me what it is that you love most about the resolution industry and, and, and the work that you do as an ADR professional. I just, I love the self-determination aspect of it. I really hate to think that you go into a courtroom and some judge or jury makes a decision about a relationship that you created, because that's what contracts are. They're relationships among entities. It's relationships among people. And a lot of times, even if they're entities, it's still people at the end of the day. And so to me, having the ability to determine how you resolve that dispute is really the most important aspect of, of dispute resolution and mediation in particular. Um, I just, I, I think that we are all, if we would be reasonable, if we would allow reasonable heads to prevail as opposed to being angry and I'm getting my pound of flesh, if we could sit down and, and honestly look at things, we can figure out a way to solve things on our own. And that's it. Absolutely right. You, you nailed it. Thank you so much. From Natalie in Normandy to Natalie in Orlando, this has been an idle chat for the American Bar Association's section of dispute resolution. Thank you so much for being my guest. Thank you, Natalie, for having me. I really appreciate it. It was fun. <laughs> Thanks.